Depp. So the weekend of Lily Rose Depp did an amazing cover story and interview with W Magazine, one of the last great magazines out there for the pop issue. And unfortunately for me, being a big weekend fan, he announced via this um, interview they did with W that most likely he's looking to retire the um, artist, you know, formerly known as Flipping the Weekend. That moniker, that artist, that character, he's going to put it to bed very soon. And in his words, he's actually going to kill it. He's going to kill it, which is absolutely disturbing and really kind of filled me with dread. But I understand that that journey and that story has kind of been run to run its course. There's only so many suits one man can buy. There's only so many little Michael Jackson, James Brown shuffles you can do. Maybe he's on some other thing and he wants to kind of pivot away from it. And I completely understand it. The one thing that was kind of concerning, though, watching or checking out some of the clips and the pictures from this W Magazine um, cover story featuring Lily Rose Depp and The Weeknd, of course, to promote that new series called The Idol coming out on HBO soon, is the fact that it looks like The Weeknd might have got some work done. Is it me? My boy Abel might have got a little bit of filler put in his chin. And I only know that because I'm on social media a lot more, especially um, following these certain accounts. And it looks like his jawline is way more defined than it ever was in the past. Now, it could be that he's just been working out a bunch, but it looks like he might have got some really subtle, um, you know, uh, subtle work done the kind of work that you can't spot like the really small bits and pieces that make you look amazing like similar to like um what's her name uh the hadid the model one where you just get little stuff done like you take off the little bump on your nose you maybe pull a little bit on your eye just tiny things just to kind of improve the already amazing base that you have because you know clearly abel um the weekend you know it's not a bad looking dude so if he does get a tiny bit of filler just to kind of make the chin look like a bit of one of those like you know meme chad bro type of things it probably sits well i don't know if that's a thing maybe it's a thing maybe it isn't i don't really care i still love the weekend he's my fucking guy i've been following him since the mixtape days um it's been pretty sick to see his journey going from the mixtape artist all the way to being one of the biggest pop stars in the world or the biggest pop star in the world and and I love his evolution in terms of the albums and challenging people like myself um, to kind of, you know, get with it or go home. So let's read the article. We're going to skip the first opening paragraph because it's usually filler. Go straight to the second paragraph of W Magazine. It says here, as a trailer of The Idol was projected onto the large, um, sorry, huge SoFi screens, um, Deb rehearsed her lines with Levison. She was wearing a uh, a di uh, diaphanous white dress um, with her blonde hair and a loose updo. Depth's up large eyes and the exquisite bone structure of a model, but as Jocelyn, she said she applied heavy eye makeup and exaggerated lip liner, which gave her face a mask-like quality. I was nervous wreck, Depp said, when I spoke to her later. I was praying to all the guardian angels, all the Nepo baby guardian angels. Hey, Lily, hey? Um, I knew we only had two takes so, so far. I felt like I was going to my wedding. I, I was all doled up and in white. Depp finally worked up the courage to introduce Tedros. This is the love of my life, the man who pulled me through the darkest hours and into the light. She told the fans as Testify um, came out of a huge uproar. Despite her nerves, Depp was intoxicated by the power of being in front of a stadium full of adoring people it was quite addicting she said i didn't want to leave you see an amazing picture here of the weekend holding a cool little vcr camera love that for him um was he wearing he's wearing saint laurent um and lily rose is wearing uh chanel hot couture i love that whenever they put lily rose in chanel she's always lying on the floor or lying on things they don't ever want to stand up because she's so tiny like i think she might be like under five foot but they always want to like kind of exaggerate her length and have her like, you know, splayed on the floor, standing on something, lying on something. It's like, come on, man, let the girl live a little bit. But hey, what do I know? It continues here. It says, um, Test 5, meanwhile, was experiencing a kind of a breakdown. His two characters do not look alike. The Weekend wears sleek black suits while Tedros has a rat tail and usually sports shiny 70s style um, half buttoned shirts with an aviator sunglasses. Um, I had to take off The Weekend's outfit, put on Tedros wig, shoot with Jocelyn and then go back to being The Weekend. he told me later. It was tough to go from one to another. It's funny that he's saying this because most likely we're going to watch this series, all of us, myself included, and we're just going to see Abel slash The Weekend performing like or acting. We're not going to see able the actor performing it's very unlikely because you know he hasn't done much acting anyway so it's very unlikely he's going to come out and smash this the first time around 
The only thing that's given me a little bit of pause on that is that it's HBO. And HBO don't miss when it comes to TV series. So if they're putting money behind this, I'm assuming that Lily Rose Depp and The Weeknd are going to surprise us all with incredible performances out of the gate. Let's see. But um, I love that he's saying it's like, you know, it's method acting. He was confused by the two. He says, continues here. It was tough to go from one head to another. Then after the concert, I lost my voice. No voice came out at all. That's never happened before. My theory is that I forgot how to sing. Wow. I forgot how to sing because I was playing Tedros, a character who doesn't know how to sing. <laughs> Amazing. I may be looking too deeply into this, but it was terrifying. As a weekend, I've never skipped a concert. I've performed with the flu. I'll die on that stage. But there was something very complicated about going on with my mind at the moment. You know what's funny as well about the weekend? There was a time growing up, and I know this because I'm a weekend stan, where there was a conversation people were having between who would you rather pick, Frank Ocean or the weekend? And obviously, over time, the weekend's gone in a different direction sonically, but just career wise, he's on a whole other planet. But look at the difference in, in kind of attitude to performing, right? Like he kind of brags. He brags at the fact that he never has to skip a concert, not a show, a concert. Never skipped it. He says, I performed with the flu. I'll die on that stage, which is the complete opposite of Frank Ocean. If the vibes aren't right, right? <laughs> if he hasn't got enough sage, he's not performing. <laughs> or if he does perform, he'll make you know that he doesn't want to be there by turning up in his pajamas. Very expensive pajamas, but pajamas nonetheless. It continues here. Testify's identity crisis was about more than juggling two characters in one night. He says, I'm going through a cathartic path right now. Sorry, a cathartic path right now. It's getting to a place in a time where I'm ready to close the weekend chapter. You hear this, weekend fans? He says it's getting to a place and a time where I'm getting close to closing the weekend chapter. Damn it, man. Damn it. I'm pissed. Selfish as a fan, I'm pissed because I love that sound. I love that synth. Um synth i love that synth pop indie dance new disco sound that he kind of has popularized and made his own and i just want more of it more and the fact that fucking the weekend sorry um tory lanes is in prison now and most likely going to get sentenced to more than 22 years his recent album that he put out was absolutely incredible it kind of played along that sort of theme and i thought maybe as an artist he could have explored that way more but i'd imagine after doing six years in prison the last thing you want to do is start is start singing like take your love away or whatever i mean you don't want to be bopping and doing your michael jackson shuffle in the dance floor so he's probably going to come out sounding like fucking west side gun Boom, 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 boom. you know what i mean that's what's gonna happen um but anyway continuing on he says i'll still make music maybe as able maybe as a weekend but i'll still want to kill the weekend and i will eventually i'm definitely trying to shed that skin and reborn there's no doubt in my mind that the weekend's still gonna make music he's just gonna have a different moniker but he's definitely not gonna quit no way i don't see that because he loves performing you can tell he enjoys the he enjoys being an artist like putting together a song, crafting it, and then presenting it to the world, and then having a chance to perform it, he fucking loves it. So I don't think he's going to quit that anytime soon, but it's just a bit sad to hear that he's giving up the weekend moniker. He continues. He says, more than a year ago, before the Surfy show, Depp was asked to audition for the role of, of Jocelyn. See, that's Nepo baby shit. Asked to perform. Asked to audition. <laughs> amazing i gotta love lily rose she was arguing against being a nepo baby but this is the most nepo baby thing i've seen in my life it continues says i've never would have i never thought i would get the part all right she said calling from prague where she was on set for a new film called nasferatu nosferatu sorry in which she plays the disciple of dracula another sinister but seductive man i knew that there will be many lovely ladies who are more musical than me but i thought i'll give it a go that borrowed a tight pink satin skirt and a purple tank top from her mother, Vanessa Paradis, a former French singer and model and actor. Her father, a fan certainty know is um, Johnny Depp. I wanted to wear a pop star colour, she said, and I wanted to channel a certain LA feeling. I grew up in LA. I'm an LA girl, and so is Jocelyn. I wanted to capture the style, the mix of mischief and shine. I'm curious of the girls that got turned down for this, especially other famous actresses or actors, I wonder. Or maybe other people just turned it down because this creature's able. I wonder if you're a big if you're a big actress. Imagine if you're like a Scarlett Johansson. Would you take... No, she probably isn't a good example because she's a little bit too old for this role. But if you're... I don't know who, who you could name. But I wonder if, if you're a certain actor of a certain ilk 
maybe being associated with a first time actor in the weekend in this type of series is a little bit too risky. So you're like, you know what, if this goes badly, this is going to be a mark that's going to, this is going to be like a black cloud over my head, so I'm going to just not do it. Or maybe Lily Rose Depp is legitimately a really good actor and she smashed the auditions and she got the place by merit, which, you know, is doubtful because she got the audition off the back of being who she is. So, you know, who knows? But I'm curious to see it. I'm really, I'm open. Um, really cool picture here featuring The weekend wearing Prada and a David Human necklace and a Cartier watch. Love that for him. Not a fan of the not a fan of the knit with no undershirt. Um, maybe my nipples are a little bit too sensitive, but that'll cause rashes and shit and will just make me feel a little bit frisky. So not for me personally. Um, carry on here. You got the weekend in a nice Saint Laurent overcoat, looking absolutely fantastic. Lily Rose here. What's she wearing there? She's wearing uh Straprelli, um couture, Mesa Mangela shoes. And the next one is a flipping uh, Luebe jacket. That might be the same Luebe jacket that, um, what's his name? That Rihanna was wearing, actually. Rihanna was pictured, you know, pregnant style with ASAP Rocky. And I think she had a similar fur coat to this. So big up her. And of course, a Mickey Moto earrings. Um, it continues here, says the closer real life twin to Jocelyn is probably Britney Spears. But Depp also saw shades of cinematic femmes, fatales like Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct and Jean, sorry, uh, Jean Moreau in Jules and Gin. Of course, I'm a Britney fan, Depp said. Who what doesn't love Britney? But I was also thinking about Beyonce, Mariah, and every huge pop star of our time. I wanted Justin to be a kind of woman who can dominate a room, someone who doesn't even shy away from their sparkle. For her audition, Depp said that she had to sing a cappella. And I thought, here's where I don't get called back. She sang a minute of fever. I was going through the casting tapes and Lily Rose immediately stood out, says Ashley Levinson, Sam's wife and executive producer of Idol. She has that kind of vulnerability and strength that was crucial for the character. To guarantee that Depp had, would click with, te with Testify, Sam Levinson. <laughs> this is funny, the chemistry test. I wonder what the chemistry test is. You two go into that room and just start touching each other or like dating in the dark. We're going to turn off all the lights in this room and you're going to be in each corner. Then you're going to meet each other in the middle and just go for it. <laughs> you know just gonna go for it in the middle of the room i wonder what the chemistry test is in acting anyway it continues here um sam levinson insisted on the chemistry test the quote says we had we had met socially but i didn't know him depth record abel is so warm and friendly but i was very nervous about the chemistry read because i really wanted the part like all my on favorite on-screen couples, um, Justin and Tedros compl complimented each other in the most dangerous way. They had that push and pull connection. Saw like Blueface and uh, Creshawn, right? Um, it continues here. It says, after she got the part, when Levinson was on board to direct, Depp decided to dye her hair. Jocelyn could be good. She could be evil. You never know. I grew up watching older films, especially French films. Women like Bridget Bardot have beauty mixed with I don't give a fuck energy. I wanted that feeling for Jocelyn. Okay. Look at Lily Rose Depp doing her homework. Bridget Bardot. I didn't know she knew who Bridget Bardot is. It's pretty sick. Interestingly, Jocelyn says here was not always blonde. The character evolved considerably over time. In fact, the current version of the series, which will air on June 4th, is a reshoot and a reinvention of the entire first season. They reshot the entire first season. Oh, this isn't looking good, bro. <laughs> this isn't looking good. Jesus Christ. Testify, um, Abel says that he would come up with the original premise for the show with his production manager or partner, sorry, called Reza Fahim. Abel came to us with a pitch. Um, he said something that I always remember. If I wanted to start a cult, I could, which is very true. He definitely could. What he meant was that his fans were so loyal and devoted that they would follow him anywhere. And that was a germ of the idea of the idol which happens when a pop star falls for the wrong guy and no one speaks up Lily Rose Depp there um good pictures look at that oh this picture's fucking amazing with the weekend he's sitting down in front of screens um that show different bits of Lily Rose you know blowing kisses and shit on these VCR monitor type things that, she, that he's probably looking over but the main thing that I like are these shoes I know a lot of you won't be fans of them, but to me, these are fucking amazing. These, I'm pretty sure, are Luebe. So big up Jonathan Anderson. I'm pretty sure their current season, maybe from Fall Winter 2023 or the recent one, they look amazing. They're essentially like pumps that have got this amazing sock liner. Sorry, they've got this amazing fur type of um, sock thing that goes over the top. Kind of remind me of like a really upmarket pair of Uggs or something. 
These look incredible. I'm a big fan of those. Um, it continues here, says, after the meeting with Test Fight, Levison was so excited that he couldn't sleep. Um, two days later, he had an outline for the show that could be... Um, that could be a week later, he wrote the whole script for the pilot. HBO immediately said yes. They immediately said yes because Levison was busy with the second season of Euphoria. He and Tesfaye and Fahim chose a different team to direct the work for Idol. After seeing what they created, Tesfaye decided to pivot. Reportedly, the emotional tango between Tedros and Jocelyn was not as complex as what he and Levison had envisioned. If that core relationship didn't work, the show would not be good at all. Um, film and TV is a new creative muscle for me, says Tesfaye. I don't release any music until i think it's great why would this be any different okay so he redid the first season redid the first season because he it wasn't complex enough it wasn't layered enough it didn't ask enough questions it didn't push the audience enough it didn't tell enough if an interesting story that's kind of comforting i think it continues to testify um or Tess Faye, I, I'm, I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I'm pretty sure. Tess Faye has a calm demeanor. Demure, um, he's very polite and soft-spoken, but he has an undercurrent of steely determination. Um, I like when all the odds are against me, he said. I've always been an underdog. In the beginning, the music business was not easy. I had to fight to get to the top of the mountain. Throughout the process of bringing the idol to life, Levison and Tesfai, um became close. Sam followed me to Coachella. He said he stayed in the background, but he watched what, how I moved and what it was like for me. Sam understood something crucial about how to create this show. After seeing the first version of the idol, Tesfai invited Levinson over to his house in Bel Air. Quitting the show was, wasn't an option for Abel or me. It was a dream that we had together and we would see it through. If we were going to reshoot from the beginning, I knew it had to be for less money. Sitting in Abel's house, looking around the four to square feet, I said, it's stunning here. You could buy a production design studio like this. What if we shoot it in here? Abel put down his drink and said, do you, do you have insurance? He said, yes. And I said, I'm okay with that. So they shot some of the series in his house. I need to see what this house looks like. Look at these, look at these shoots. They look incredible, man. Wow, I love all of it, to be fair. More shoes. I'm not going to read the entire thing because it's kind of long. But yeah, let me see, actually see. What does the weekend's house look like? Uh, let's see this. The weekend Bel Air home. What does this look like? I'm a, I'm, I'm curious, bro. They, show, they shot an entire series of a show. Oh, there we go. I actually checked it out before. Damn it, man. There we go from Architectural Digest. I actually visited this link before, hence why it's in the purple. I had no idea. I didn't remember this. Maybe it was just too many amazing houses to mention. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a, it looks like a pimp's house, doesn't it? It looks like a playboy's house. Like, this is amazing. It's got that... Oh, it actually looks like the house from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Is it the same house? It's got the same type of... Um, what you call it? Stair... Um, what do you call it? How do you call those things that go up to the house? Is it called stairs? Or there's a there's a term for it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but anyway, it looks very similar to how it is on a freshman of LA. Obviously the door will be closer, but wow. It's got an amazing swimming pool. There's probably a gym down there, 17 bedrooms. That's fucking incredible. R&B Superstar here, courtesy of Architectural Digest. R&B Superstar has purchased a ballet mansion for 70 million. 7 million, 70, 7 zero big ones. Wow. That's crazy. The home measures approximately 33,000 square feet and packs quite a lot within it. There's a gym, movie theater, music studio, sauna, hammer, um, indoor pool. Among the offerings on the inside, there's exterior uh, both a sports court, an infinity pool with a waterfall, dramatic split staircase leading up to the upper patio. All of, oh, that's it. It's a staircase. Split staircase. Um, the purchase comes just months after Brian Nightstar sold his former home in Madonna. To Madonna. Oh, look at the inside of it, man. God damn. This looks amazing. Really nice home. So, yeah, big up Abel. Uh, big up Lily Rose Depp. We will see when that series drops, if it's good or not. We will see when that series drops, if it's good or not. 